So Ryan, we know that networking is important. And I tell the students I'm helping or the clients I'm helping is that networking should start way before and when you're looking for a job. So for students, it's a perfect timing to start networking, building relationship before they graduate. And then while they're graduating, they have all this relationship with companies that they want to work. And then they can ask, hey, by the way, is your company hiring? Hey, do you have a referral program? Can you introduce me? Can you make, uh, can you tell me, can you put my resume and or give it to the re hiring uh, recruiter? So in that sense, do you have any tips of how to start networking, how to build those relationships? Yeah, you know, I always, I always talk to job seekers, especially early on in their mm. search to, to know who and be strategic around the networking, yes. right? So, so know who you're networking to, what you're networking about and why. Yeah. Right. And within networking, many times we think about it very transactional in terms of I'm going to go network so I can so I can get more business opportunities. Yeah. Well, I, I think what we need to understand is that business is built on relationship. Yeah. And and networking is less about simply meeting people so that mm -hmm. potentially you can build your business one day. And networking needs to start from a place of also meeting the needs of those that you're networking with. So it's mm -hmm. not transactional, it's also transformational where you're seen as a transformational person, where you're, where you're connecting with people and identifying not simply to say, this is what I'm about and this is what I offer and this is what I, 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 I the learning about people, right? But being very strategic about who you're targeting in terms of your networking. It can be mm -hmm. very frustrating to, go from one networking event to the net, next networking event. Mm -hmm. And so in the same way that you look at the culture of the business as a job seeker, I think it's important to understand the, the culture of the networking that takes place. I saw someone on LinkedIn yeah. the other day post, post that they went to a networking event and it felt like a singles dating, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, the speed dating event, you know, cause that's all everybody, that's all it felt like. And so that's, that, that that's not the right fit for what you want. Then, then you have to be very selective around that. I also always encourage everyone to, to know who it is that you're connecting with, yeah. what companies that you would love to work for. Maybe it's, maybe it's in biotech or maybe it's in mm. uh, AI or maybe it's, you know, in, in manufacturing, whatever it is that, that excites you, right? Yeah. It could be even in keynote speaking, start reaching out to those. LinkedIn's yeah. a very great place to, yeah. uh, it's a great place to do yeah. it. People are used to um, receiving a lot of sales outreach. And I would say if, if you reach out to connect and to learn and, yeah. to, and, and, and that to me, if I, if I have job seekers reaching out to me that say, now I'm putting myself out there, right? Because I'm on LinkedIn a lot. But yeah. if some, if one of your listeners were to reach out to me and say, "Hey, can I, can I get 30 minutes of your time?" Oh, yeah. all day long, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just like absolutely, you know. And I think LinkedIn is still that wild, wild west, of, yeah. uh, and people are able to be uh, connected with. You're able to easily connect with people on a level that. Uh, through Facebook or the other platforms, it doesn't yeah. work. And so, yeah. um, you know, I always encourage people to get Sales Navigator if you're really intentional about it, pay the extra money for LinkedIn, mm -hmm. utilize the messaging, reach out, uh, kick into that game a lot, and then mm -hmm. identify local ways of networking into groups that are a good culture fit for you, yeah. right? Maybe that's the culture fit we need to find out is whether or not if I'm a culture fit for the business or for this networking, is it a culture fit for me? For me. Right. Yeah. Is this yeah. where I want to thrive? Is this where I'm going to feel fulfilled? Are these the people I mm -hmm. need to be connecting with? Right. Yeah. Because sometimes we're connecting and networking and it's just one off events because we were invited to something. Yeah. And sometimes we, you know, accidentally meet the right person, you yeah. know, or maybe it's fate or whatever it is. Yeah. But if we're real strategic about it and we network within spaces of where I'm headed, then, then we know that once we get there, we'll have a network of, of others that are connected with us yeah. that can support us back after we've provided support, sent a book. Hey, I read yeah. this, thought it that would be encouraging to you. Start giving, be a giver, serve others, find ways 
to meet the needs of others in the business community, even through your networking, yeah. where it's not taking too much from yourself. You're able to still focus on you, but you're able to add value to other people's yeah. lives. And, yeah. and once you're a value add, people won't forget you. Yeah, that's important, the value add part. I tell the students that when you are going to any event, identify maybe three people that you want to meet and always ask questions about them, you know, What's the intention of you attending this webinar? And then follow up after that. Hey, we connected and I want to follow up. And then as you mentioned on networking on LinkedIn, when you're sending connection requests, personalize it. Say, hey, Ryan, I saw your interview with me here. You're talking about the value alignment or you're talking about importance of value. I really appreciate that. Do you have yep. five minutes of your time? I want to explore more about that. So that's how you're building the relationship. And again, a lot of time during pandemic, a lot of events were online. And then the communication part or the comment section was a way to connect with people. And then if you join groups that you are similar interests, you can network there and it will be easier because both of you are already have some, something in common and you can build from there, right? I, I think that really matters a lot. Um, I love what you said about um, asking curious questions about the person. Yeah. You know, because the more in, in back to what I said earlier, business is really built on relationship. Yeah. The more I have relationship with someone, I know whether they do live up to their values or not, mm -hmm. you know. And so what we're doing is we're we're growing yeah. our connection with people um, and that has to be authentic. And so asking those personalized questions, being vulnerable with your own story and and also noticing the small things, you know, and I think this goes into networking ideas and into business in general, you know, certain things matter to you, right? The horses behind you matter. Yeah. Um, those in, in, in just, I, I, I think it just matters to, to care about what other people care about, right? Yeah. Where you're not just sharing your story, but you're engaged in what they care about, what they're passionate about, learning about them to mm. your point really really matters yeah. thank you for those great tips brian and with that my interview comes to an end i really enjoyed the conversation and very practical tips so for the audience if you have any other tips leave them below and if you have any questions you can reach to us to our social platforms and tune in next time for other great guests i'm preparing you guys again ryan thank you very much and let's keep in touch bye yeah, everybody. absolutely bye